Okay, this is how you're going to take your iPhone 4 apart and replace screen if you've got smashed like this. Right, what you're first going to need to do is take two screws out at the bottom. So, just remove them. Then, you're going to want to slide back off and pull. Then your backs come off. Then, you're going to want to take this screw out here. Put all your screws somewhere safe because they are all same. They aren't all the same size. And you're gonna need a small pry tool. Clip it under this silver thing. Then pry it off. Then you wanna grab this tab and pull. No, it's gonna snap battery. It might be a bit tough. See, it's stuck on with adhesive glue. But you'll get there. There we go. Keep your battery somewhere safe. And this little thing. Keep that somewhere safe as well. And then. You're going to want to take five screws out of this top plate here, what's covering all your flex cables up. Do that now. Sorry, that's my phone. Then once all five screws have been removed, you're going to pull down on this board and then pull up, lift up. So we'll put that there. And then you're going to want to take two screws. Uh, let me just stick that down. Two screws out of this here, what's locking down this flex cable. I'm going to tap screen it all pretty in detail. Pull this off. And then you want to get your pry tool again, put it under the corner of this, and pull up. That will be stuck down with adhesive glue. Make sure you don't break cable when you're pulling it up, just slowly. Lift it. There you go. Right, and then Get your Phillips screw, and we're going to need to take our speaker assembly at bottom. It's just two screws. Remove that one. And then remove this screw here. And before you start yanking, trying to get it off, there's a little cable what connects your two antennas to your motherboard. You want to clip that off, and get your pry tool to do that, a bit easier. It's not supposed to be this hard. Seems like somebody's glued it on. The free.
There we go. A new one I'm going to pull this out and place it somewhere safe. And then you want to get your pry tool, pull this screw off here, this flat screw off. Yeah, and then this one here. Yeah. And then there's another tool which connect your digitizers and your touch screen display. And then you're only going to take two screws out of here to remove your vibrating module. And it'll look like that. And then you want to get your pry tool again and remove the flex cable that's connecting your camera. Then this should just wobble out. And then you're going to want a flathead screw Phillips here. Just take this slightly bigger screw out here. Once you've got that, put it somewhere safe. And then back to the smaller flathead screw. And there's going to be some litmus paper here. That's just so you can tell if your phone's water damaged. You don't need that, so you can just peel it off because it's pretty. It's hiding one of the screws. So then you take that screw off there. That's also keeping logic board in place. Last screw. And then your logic board should just pop. Oh, forgot something then. You're gonna wanna pin. Remove the SIM card from the side of your phone. So if you don't, your logic board's just not gonna come up. And then just pull the SIM card tray out. And then the logic board should just pop out of place. Move the flex cables out of the way. And then it's out. And then what you're going to need to do now is take these four screws out, one in every corner. So I'll do that now. Then once you've done that, there's going to be another six screws with washers on them. There's one there, one there, one there, another three on that row. You don't have to completely take them off, just loosen them. Say about a full turn.
And once you're gonna do, once you've done that, you're gonna need a bigger pry tool, and this is hard, partner. Because if you've never took the front apart, there's still gonna be a, a lot of adhesive glue on the bottom. So you're just gonna find a place where pry tool can slip under. Which is there for me. Then you'll hear that noise, and that's just adhesive breaking away from the bezel. You're just going to want to slide it across it. You're just going to want to do this for a few times to make sure that it's fully loose. It's just not wanting to come to bits. And then once you've done that, you know, just pry on bottom in it, pull it up from own bottom. Glass is breaking here. This, this screen was smashed. Just pull it from bottom. Some that screen still staying on with adhesive glue. That's oh, not a problem. Pull down from the bottom and don't just yank screen off because you will break digitizer and LCD touch display flex cables. So just straighten them and pull them through this little hole. Then that's the screen removed. Then you want to get your new screen. But before you install that, there might still be some glass. Make sure all the glass is took off if your screen were cracked. It will break your new screen. Make sure all that's gone. And if you have bought like a new screen off eBay or anything, where did I put that screen? You're gonna want to take this off if it hasn't already got one on it. It's just a covering for your speaker. Just peel that off. It should already still have some adhesive glue still stuck on it. And you wanna get that. And on your new display, pull that down. You're going to push it on there, make sure it's in line with it, and it'll look a cock up. There you go. Then you want to straighten the cables, put them through that little hole. And if you feel any resistance, don't carry on pushing down. Just make sure everything's not killed up. And you'll know if you've done it right, because them 
should be the same size. And then to reconstruct it, you just follow instructions backwards. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment.